What's up guys, Dopesunner930 here today with my tutorial on how to RGH any fat Xbox on the current dash as of today. In this video I use a NAND X NAND reader, a CoolRunner Rev C glitch chip, a soldering iron and soldering supplies, software I use the JRunner and link for that will be in the description. You will need to pause the video many times throughout this tutorial to uh, be able to see what I'm doing and catch pictures. But anyways, I'm just showing you guys here that the console is on the latest dash 2.0.16203, that is the latest dash as of today which is May uh, 9th. First thing we're going to need to do is take apart your console. If you don't know how to do that, I will place a link in the description or in the video somewhere. Alright, now once you take it the console part, you're going to need to solder your NAND X NAND wires. Um, if you don't have a NAND X, you can still solder your wires, you just have to look up another diagram. The diagram I showed you guys is for the NAND X because it's color coordinated with the wires. So first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and apply flux to the points we are going to solder the wires to. Then I go ahead and tin all the wires on the NAND X. Makes it a lot easier to uh, get a better connection, makes it a lot less of a headache trying to uh, solder the wires to the points without tinning them. So just go through all the wires one by one and um, dab some solder on the tips. Alright, once you've done that, just go ahead and install the wires based off the diagram I showed you guys. Again, you may need to go back and pause on that diagram so that you can see where the points are because I, uh, I was only on there for a few seconds. Make sure when you're doing this part that you don't have any any of the wires touching each other um, because obviously you won't be able to read your NAND if you have wires crossing or if a wire is touching a pad next to it or something like that. So just be careful with that and make sure that all your wires are, are fine. Nine out of ten times if you have a NAND reading error it's because your uh, wires are touching something else or if you have a bad connection. So make sure you have a good connection on all your NAND wires. Alright, once you've done those five, you just gotta do the top ones, the green and the blue. Alright, once your wires are all hooked up, you're gonna go ahead and plug in your power cable to your Xbox 360, but don't actually power the Xbox on, you just need power to be running through the board. Then go ahead and connect your Nandex. One end is gonna be connected to the cable you just soldered, the other end will be connected via USB to your PC. Please ignore my fat cat sleeping on the floor. Then on your PC, you're gonna to need to open up JRunner. In JRunner, you're gonna click Read NAND. It's going to ask you to select the motherboard type. It might not, but if it does, you're going to need to figure out what kind of motherboard you have. I'll place a diagram that will kind of help you figure out, um, based off the power plug, which, uh, which fat version you have. Alright, so mine was a Jasper and I had actually a big block Jasper, so it took a long time to read the NAND. Typically, you want to read the NAND four times. I only did it twice because of uh, the fact that it was such a big NAND. So once it's done running through all the NANDs on the bottom left in the uh, status box, it'll actually compare the NANDs for you and it'll tell you whether the NANDs are the same or not. As you can see, it says on the bottom that uh, the NANDs are identical. Alright, so once you've got an accurate read of your NAND, you're going to need to go ahead and actually install the Cool Runner. 
Um, I, it's too big of an image to actually put in this video, so I place a link in the description where you can go ahead and look at the diagram that Team Executor made for it because it is their product. It's a very large picture. Um, on the page I linked you to, it has an image for the RGH1, which is the first picture, and the RGH2, which is the second. We're doing the RGH2 because we're on the latest dash, um, so make sure you follow the image that says RGH2. Just go from top to bottom and install all the wires and follow all the settings it says for RGH2. First thing I do is go ahead and place the cool runner on the AV port. I uh, apply some flux to the different points on it. And then I go ahead and just tin all the points, making it easier to uh, install the wires to them. They are fairly large pads, but if you're not careful, you still can damage them, which is why I use the flux and try not to hold the iron for too long on each point. In my opinion, once you've added the flux and solder to the points, the easiest thing then is to connect the wires to each point before you install them one by one. Just connect them all to the cool runner so you have that out of the way. I skipped over the D-pad because it's going to be the double shielded uh, cable so I'm gonna go ahead and once I put the rest of the wires on I'll go back and show you guys a little bit more on that cable because you might not uh, really understand how to use it or how it works <laughs> alright so on the double shielded cable you're gonna want to there's two, there's two things going on with it. You've got on the inside a solid wire and then you've got a bunch of little thin metal wires surrounding it. So you need to peel back the rubber or uh, slice the rubber off and actually twist those metal, the smaller wires together. And when you do that, you're going to go ahead and actually solder on another wire to that, to those um, wires that you twisted together. As you can see right here, I just soldered a black wire to that. And you're going to go ahead and place a little bit of electric tape or something like that around um, that metal piece so that you get a connection um, so I mean sorry so that you get a uh, you cover them up so they don't touch anything in the ground and so as you saw you, the solid part of it you actually connect to point D then you're gonna go ahead and put some flux on the AV ports um, and then add a bit of solder to two of them because you're gonna be grounding the cool runner on there as well as that cable that we just put the black wire onto So for the closest pin I use the uh, ground from the cool runner, just bend it back and go ahead and solder that to that metal pin. And then the black wire that you um, soldered onto those little ground wires on the shielded cable that I showed you before, you're going to solder the other end of the black cable to the second, port, uh, second pin sticking up right there that you flexed and put solder on. Just like that. Then go ahead and place some flux on those points because that's where the next wires are going to be. Then I attach first the 3v3 uh, red wire. Again because the Rev-C is made for the RGH1 originally and we're doing the RGH2 you're going to have to trim back some of the wires to make them fit because the next wires um, come really long uh, because they're made for the RGH1 and again since this is the RGH2 you don't need all that extra wire. Also because I did this in the middle of the night I realized that this next wire I soldered onto the wrong spot. So again this is meant more for a reference than an exact follow along. Um, so when it comes to the soldering exact points, please be sure to check that diagram that I linked you guys to because that's an official diagram from Team Executor and it's definitely got everything 100% on par. My goal of this video is more so to just kind of guide you through and give, give my tips, give my tricks, and if you get lost, it's kind of easier to have a visual than, you know, reading text in a forum or something like that. So this next point, you definitely want to be careful not to mess up one of those tiny, um, I believe they're resistors. Uh, it's really easy to mess them up and if you do that could cause some serious issues as well as that pad being uh, super fragile. So just be careful, make sure you have a lot of flux on that point. 
This next point is going to be where the other end of the shielded cable goes to. Um, you don't need to ground the other end since uh, it only needs to be grounded on one end. This one's a pretty easy install because it's such a large, large point, nothing really to worry about. All right, then on the last wire, you're going to have to actually feed it through the hole on the top of the south bridge right there. It slides through. Hopefully you saw that. If not, go back and try to take a closer look. And it's going to go to this point right here. Try to lay the wire as flat as you can so that it doesn't, uh, it's not sticking up. That way, when you set the motherboard down, it will push on the wire and damage the point. So just make sure you lay that wire flat. And I actually usually um, place some tape down so that the wire won't wiggle around. Once you've done that, go ahead and connect your cool runner. Uh, you'll need your programming cable and connect that to your NANDX and go ahead and plug that into your cool runner as well as the other cable that uh, allows you to read the NAND and then plug it into your PC. Once again plug in the power cable and then we're going to go back to JRunner. In JRunner all we're going to do is flash the cool runner um, with RGH2 files. It has A through D then it has Falcon and Trinity. If you place your mouse over the different uh, bubbles or checkpoints it'll, it'll actually tell you which one each is for so since I'm doing a Jasper I will go ahead and click A and click OK. In the bottom left, it'll say um, successful or done when it's completed. It only takes a few seconds. Then, because we're doing the new new dash, you got to flash um, the ECC plus. So just click the ECC plus button. It'll ask you if you want to flash it, and then select your motherboard again. Mine's the Jasper, and it'll begin to write that. It shouldn't take very long because it's a fairly small file as well. Once you've done that, go ahead and hook your Xbox back together. Uh, you want to unplug the Nandex because it can cause damage to it if you uh, power on the Xbox when it's hooked up. Usually it won't do anything. I've done it before, but don't. I wouldn't want to risk it if you don't have to. And just go ahead and kind of set up the Xbox half-ass like that and power it on. And if everything is right, it could take some time, guys, so don't be discouraged if it doesn't turn on in the first 30 seconds. It could take a few minutes depending on um, the kind of motherboard and how good your soldering is, but you should be greeted with this eventually. Uh, which is XL Reloaded. If you've seen this, then you can kind of pat yourself on the back because that means that your soldering is good and um, you know it was able to glitch. So what you're looking for in XL Reloaded is going to be your CPU key. It'll take a little bit, but once it scrolls down, it'll be displayed. Then you need to either um, write it down or take a picture. I typically take a picture. Um, as you can see right there, it says your CPU key and it has a long line of numbers and letters. So once you're done with that, you need to go back into JRunner and you need to type out your CPU key where it says CPU key. Once you've done that, all the key vault info will pop up. And you'll go ahead and click create image. Once again, select your motherboard if it asks you to. Then all that's left is to write the NAND. You will need to have your, um, I didn't show this, but you will need to actually have your NANDX plugged in when you do this again to flash the NAND. And once you've done that, guys, that's it. You can desolder everything and put your Xbox back together. I would test it a few times to make sure that you boot into this um, hack dashboard that it does boot successfully, because if it doesn't, you've got some errors. Uh, but anyways, guys, once again, this is how to RGH any fat console on the latest dashboard as of today, which is May 9th, 2013. Um, you guys have been kind of asking me for this for a while because I showed you on, with the DGX, but never how to do this on the latest dash with a cool runner. So... Hopefully you guys liked, um, if you did and it helped you, please like and subscribe for more. Once again, Dopesar930, thanks for watching.